Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video, what I want to talk to you today about is performing a short circuit test on a transformer to determine the impedance voltage of a transformer. Hey, in a previous video, we went through and did an open circuit test to determine the core losses of a transformer. You can also use a short circuit test to perform copper loss test in a transformer as well. Hey, we're going to be using this to determine the impedance voltage of a transformer. So, what is a short circuit test on a transformer? Well, essentially what we're going to do is short out the secondaries on a transformer, okay, and we're going to apply a voltage to the primary side in order to get rated current on the secondary to flow. If we were to short circuit the secondary side and apply rated voltage on the primary, what we would end up with is a fairly significant current on the secondary. We'd probably see a short circuit condition where there might be an explosion, something like that. So what we're going to do is start with a very, very low value of voltage. We're going to start at zero. Okay, so what I have shown connected to the primary of the transformer here is a variable voltage supply, maybe a variac or an auto transformer, something like that. But these arrows just indicate different positions that we could see that kind of swiper on that transformer to pull different voltages off of the primary. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is determine, based on the information of our transformer, what is our primary rated current and what is our rated secondary current. Because what we want to do is get rated secondary current to flow. Okay, so the first thing we know, we have a 2 kVA transformer. So we have a 2000 VA transformer with a primary voltage of 240 volts. And we have our 2000 VA transformer with a secondary voltage of 120 volts. Okay, and if we run the numbers, 2000 divided by 240, the current on the primary, the rated current on the primary, we're going to see 8.333 amps. And if we run the same calculation on the secondary, we should see a secondary rated current of, we should see about 16.667 amps. Now that's with this transformer fully loaded um, so that we're delivering a maximum to kVA. And that's what we want to use. We want to use this 16.667 to determine what the impedance voltage is. Okay, so just like the name uh, describes we are going to do a short circuit test. So we're going to actually physically short out the secondary or the secondary on our transformer. Okay, but we're going to run it through an ammeter. Okay, because what we're going to use is that ammeter to kind of monitor and watch as we start to increase the voltage slowly. We're going to see that secondary current start to climb until we hit that that rated secondary current. Okay, so. What we would do at this point, we would energize our power supply, okay, we would have this set to zero. That's very important when you're performing a short circuit test on a transformer, the very first thing you do, set your voltage supply to zero. Otherwise, you will end up with that massive short circuit current. Um, so make sure you're not applying rated voltage under short circuit conditions. So we start at zero, okay, so if we were talking about a variac or something like that, we'd crank it all the way down to zero, okay, we'd energize and we would start to slowly dial this thing up, okay. And we'd be monitoring this. What we're looking for in this meter as we start to crank up this primary voltage, what we want to see is 16.67 amps. Once I see that 16.67 amps, it's not going to take a lot of voltage to do that because remember this is zero, almost zero impedance here, right? Once we see that 16.67 amps, that's our rated secondary current, we stop, okay? We get a voltmeter and we check. What is the voltage that I currently have applied to the primary of my circuit? And we're going to record that down. Okay, so let's say, for example, we keep cranking it up until we see that primary applied voltage. Let's say it's somewhere around, so oh, let's say we hit 18 volts. Once we have that dialed into 18 volts, let's say we hit 16.67 amps. Okay, that right there is my percent, that's my impedance voltage. Okay, if we take the impedance voltage and divide it by the primary rated voltage of 240 volts and multiply it by 100, that's going to give us the percent impedance of this transformer, which in this case, 18 divided by 240 times 100, we should see right around 7.5%. Okay, so the impedance of this, the percent impedance of this tr transformer would be 7.5%. Okay. Let's say, for example, we hit 12 volts. Okay, so we've dialed it up and we hit 12 volts when this was reading 16.67 amps. Okay, so 12 volts divided by 240 times 100, we would see 
5% impedance. And this transformer would have a 5% impedance, and that's what we would see on the nameplate generally. Okay, so just to kind of recap, when we're doing a short circuit test, what we're doing is shorting out the secondaries, and that's very dangerous to do, especially if we have applied voltage on the primary, because we're going to have induced rated voltage on the secondary at that point as well. So we start at zero volts with our short circuited secondaries, and we slowly start to dial it up, right? And when we hit rated secondary current, that's when we stop, we record the voltage, we look at that voltage compared to the rated primary, that gives us our percent impedance, okay? Because percent impedance is the amount of primary rated voltage applied in order to get shorts or uh, in order to get rated secondary current to flow on a transformer, okay? One of the other things that we can use this test for, we're not gonna run the numbers right now, but the other thing we can use a short circuit test for right now is to determine our I squared R losses, okay? otherwise known as our copper losses. Because the impedance of our transformer doesn't matter whether we have full voltage or half voltage or zero voltage, the impedance of the transformer will remain the same. Okay? If we have rated secondary current flowing, transformer action, that means we also have rated primary current. If I had a watt meter connected into this circuit right now, what that watt meter would be telling me would be the copper losses of my transformer. Right? Copper losses will change as loading changes, okay, core losses will not. That's what we determined from an open circuit test, if you remember in the previous video. Okay, so hopefully this has helped. Um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.